was rough. Me is a little smutty. Okay, let's speak. Harley, I know what you're doing. I hear the crinkling. You bad dog. Authorized Tinder only because I have no luck with boys. <laughs> Hi everyone, okay, so today's video is going to be a June and July favorites because I kind of was busy and didn't have time to film. So yeah, I'm gonna just combine it all together. So, first off, I'm gonna be talking about my favorite tea at the moment. I've been really into detox teas, it's just bomb, okay? So, I ordered a package from Amazon they do where you can have it shipped every three months so you'll have about six little boxes in a container like so look at the packaging though it's so freaking cute no I'm mad at you but yes as you can see already one is missing from where I took the first one so I can get it back in there one is already missing because I took it out and was trying it so I can review it for you guys over a month so you get about 16 tea bags I like to drink three a day so I got one piece of hair is just wanting to become one with my neck and I am not all for that I highly recommend this detox tea it's their dandelion root one i believe it's so good and then another one that i like i have a tea box for my car and i went in my car and i grabbed it because i always want tea at school i don't want coffee i'm not really the biggest coffee person i feel like tea gives me enough energy and it calms me so i have a tea box so i'll like get a little snack bag and i'll fill them up for my whole day at school so I'll like take one out and then I'll have them give me a hot cup of water and I'll pay for the cup that they give me. Or if I give them my cup, they give me the hot water for free. So that's how it works. But the other yogi tea that I would recommend is the blueberry one. It's a green tea and it's the blueberry slim life. I said blueberry really weird. It's actually the one that I'm drinking right now. It's in my, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list mug. Yeah. And then I have a skin purifying tea. But like I said, if you do this on Amazon, then you get the subscription for like every three months. And you get six boxes for um, seven around 17 bucks. It's cheaper, in my opinion, because normally these run about like five to six bucks. And that times six is 30, and I'm paying 17 for this box of six boxes that you get in the normal store so just keep that in mind when you're shopping for tea sometimes it's better to go on amazon in my opinion and you get more tea work is very stressful very ugh work is work you know it stresses you out what i have purchased it was about a month and a half ago was the sleep Relief. It's the Lavender Vanilla Body Lotion. It's Aromatherapy by Bath & Body Works. And let me tell you, I lather myself in this. It relieves my stress and then I sleep. I have had such a hard time sleeping because when I first started off at my job, I was doing school and then work. And then I would get home, do my homework for God knows how long, how many hours, stay up to the almost till when I needed to wake up and I just stay up, go to school, go to work, repeat, repeat. So I barely slept. Like if I took a nap in my car, that's when I would get some sleep, but that's about it. I got insomnia and it was really bad and this is helping me and I'm slowly getting better and I'm slowly not dying from sleep deprivation. <laughs> Highly in love with this. I think, yeah, it was $13, and 13 is my favorite number. What's in this is some things that are my, for like makeup and all kinds of stuff that I use to my day-to-day -day basis. First off, we're going to be talking about the Urban Decay Electric Palette Obsessed. I mean, look at this like packaging. 
these shadows are my favorite. I love them. Absolutely love them. I'm actually wearing them on my eyes today. I have been, you know, creative recently and just wanting to do a pop of color because, I mean, I have brown eyes. I've been loving to put color underneath just to make my eyes stand out and I'll do like bold colors and everybody's like, whoa, I love your makeup. And then I started doing like blending the colors. I started wearing like actual bold colors. My mom was like, whoa, not used to it, but I like it kind of thing. And I mean, she's like complimenting my makeup more, seeing the skills that are being unleashed. But overall, 10 out of 10. Next up, we got the Tartlet in Bloom palette. My favorite shades honestly have to be Rebel and Sweetheart and Flower Child. I love the name Flower Child. Whoever came up with that name is so cute. The colors for me are very natural and then I love the shimmer shades. Like I'll just like put that over and bam, I'm set. I was like, oh, I'm nervous to invest in a palette. I mean, I went all hands for this palette because I've been wanting this. I saw Made You Look by Lex, like, use it, and she did a bomb-ass, like, sunset on her eyes. And I was like, I want to do a sunset on my eyes. And I saw people using this, and I'm like, okay, is it time to invest in another palette, Michaela? Is it really time to? And I did it. I was like, money on the table. There. Got it. And I used it the first time. I was like, oh. I need to calm the fuck down. Five products I'm gonna be talking about. They're all in the same brand. I'm gonna just try and do this like all separate things together. I have like started priming and I've noticed it making my makeup look a lot better, staying on longer, and I have been obsessed. I always say that we're obsessed, but in love with Smashbox's photo finish primer. I mean you can tell. <laughs> I invested in this as well. I invested and I'm so scared to run out. So scared. The day I run out, I think I'm probably going to make a video about it like crying how I ran out of it. <laughs> I mean, I love Smashbox. I have a Smashbox pr product that I want to say that it's old. I've had this thing since 7th grade. This is so old. It cracked. I don't really know how the f*** did, but it is their Baked Starburst, and it is these shadows. See, like, see how cracked? I don't know if you can see the crack. There, there's a crack. I hit pan, as, as you can see, it's a very big pan that I hit, and it's just like really pretty colors. As you can tell, I like shimmer shadows. I would do that, and then I'd put my mascara on, and I'd feel like a little boss house bitch when I was in seventh grade. Smashbox, you've been with me for a very long time. For two primers that I use, there I got the little ones first to see before I invested in the big product. You know, just like with the primer water, I'm gotta invest in this hopefully soon it'll finish foundation primer oil free pore minimizing and it's in the purple my pores like i have big pores like right here and everything on my nose i don't know why it's just i hate it but i always put it like extra here and then like i fade it right here and it works makes my skin look so beautiful in pictures next we have the photo finish color correcting adjust and it's in the green one. I use my beauty blender to like press it into my skin. It's just like redness, 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 redness. Use it around my face, like right around here. And I call this my baseball field um, because it's all my three bases and you have home base. So my redness is a baseball field. That's what I've related my redness to is my baseball field and once I put it on it's a home run I'm solid I'm gonna be looking flawless as fuck next I have the eyelid primer it's a really tiny one like I always buy the little ones to see if I want to freaking invest because I never want to get the big one until I try the little one I love Ulta because they have all the little samples and stuff their photo finish lid primer I use it, sorry I had to read that because I wanted to make sure I said it correctly um, I use that today and 
whenever I use it, I've noticed that it lasts longer than my Urban Decay lid primer. So, I mean, I'm very happy with this. I am going to invest when this runs out. Finally, for my Smashbox favorites for June and July is their gel liner. And I was afraid to try liners like by other brands because, I mean, if I don't like it, I'm just going to have something that I spent money on sitting on my vanity that I'm not going to use. But I do use this. I love this for my waterline especially because it doesn't like bleed. I had Maybelline eyeliner when I was in middle school and always made me look emo and everybody thought it was emo. So yeah, that Maybelline, you really killed me in middle school, but it's okay. Smashbox saved the day of my college life. So I mean, I use it too for my, um, my lashes and stuff like to go over if I accidentally get some glitter or something on it, but I, uh, I love it for liner because I, I mean, I'm running out of my Tarte one and I'm crying internally. I love it too much. Okay, I started using this and I really like it. I use a Morphe brush for it because I had this one brush, but the bristles were getting a little funny, funny, like funky and going like, <laughs> I didn't want my eyeliner brush to be looking like Kylie Jenner's lip gloss brushes, like, no, I didn't want that. So I had to invest and I bought a Morphe liner brush and that's what I've been using with this. This is in the shade Deep Black and it's a Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner, which is also really good because waterproof is my thing because Tarte's Amazonian clay paint liner that was my waterproof like cry proof crocodile tear proof basically <sighs> I'm so disgusting. I don't know what has been in my system to be coming out like that but I do recommend this I fell in love with this one my aunt sells Mary Kay and I first got the transition powder from her and I was using it for my baking and I fell in love with it and then I ran out and I forgot to ask her for more and then she has texted me saying, hey, do you need anything? And I was like, translucent powder, translucent powder. But I highly recommend the Mary Kay translucent powder for the germs in the world. This is one of my favorite little scents I have going on right now for hand sanitizer. It's the Copacabana Coconut Antibacterial Hand Gel. Always have hand sanitizer. I mean, these are super cheap at Bath and Body Works. I was about to sneeze. Oh my god. Thank you for sticking around for the whole video. And don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And see me on the next video for August favorites. I'm excited because fall's coming up. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I love fall. So be looking forward to new stuff. Possibly some makeup videos. I don't know. I'm kind of like writing videos down and we'll get to that part. But yeah, definitely like it. Subscribe. If you're new, hi. My name's Michaela. We're going to have an awesome journey. So I hope you have a blessed day. The next and all the rest for you are blessed. I love you guys. Bye.